A Russian attack on the northeastern Ukrainian city of Sumy overnight killed at least three people, including a 14-year-old girl, and injured one, the regional prosecutor's office said on Tuesday. The strike targeted residential and critical infrastructure, according to local authorities. Video released by Sumy's state emergency service showed rescue workers dousing flames and clearing debris in darkness at the scene. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky reacted to the attack on his Telegram page, saying what needed to be done to protect Ukraine from such Russian terror. It can be overcome only thanks to unity with the world, anti-aircraft defenses and electronic warfare systems, long-range strikes on Russian military logistics, military airfields and bases where Russian troops are located. All this can protect against Russian terror, Zelensky wrote on Tuesday afternoon. Ukraine's Air Force says Russia launched 60 Shahid drones at Ukraine on Monday night into Tuesday. Among them 42 were intercepted, 10 jammed, and 4 drones flew to Belarus or within Russia itself. Seven people were injured in Zaporizhia as a result of a Russian strike on Monday. More than 30 residential buildings were damaged, according to the regional governor Ivan Fedorov. Another Russian strike on Kiev also damaged a residential building, according to the state emergency service. 43 people were evacuated. Russia fired a barrage of three missiles and 116 Shahid drones, along with some UAVs of an unknown type, at Ukraine during the night from Sunday to Monday, the Air Force reported. 59 drones were destroyed. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced the allocation of a $400 million military aid package to Ukraine on Monday during a visit to Kiev. The package will provide your forces with additional munitions, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons, Austin said at a meeting alongside Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The visit comes hours after a Russian drone attack on the Ukrainian capital and as Zelensky pushes Western partners to keep providing military support for the war. Ukraine is having difficulty holding back a ferocious Russian campaign along the Eastern Front that is gradually compelling Kiev's forces to give up a series of towns, villages and hamlets. Zelensky is urging Western allies to support his so-called victory plan to end the almost three-year war 
which is Europe's biggest since World War II and has cost tens of thousands of lives on both sides, including many civilians. His strategy includes a formal invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western long-range missiles to strike military targets in Russia, steps that Kiev's allies have previously balked at supporting. The Western response has been lukewarm, and Austin was expected to discuss the plan with Ukrainian officials in Kiev. According to our uh, last dialogue, I think very positive dialogue with the President Biden by phone, we discussed a lot of things. And uh, by the way, thanks for the last package supporting our uh, soldiers. And, uh, and we discussed a lot of important things about victory plan, about preparing for winter, so some details which will be, I think, uh, sorry, out of camp. We've moved heaven and earth to help Ukraine, and that inspiring coalition of more than 50 allies and partners continues to stand united to provide your country with the ass security assistance that Ukraine needs to prevail. Under President Biden's leadership, the United States remains committed to keeping up this support. And so I'm pleased to announce today the commitment of a $400 million presidential drawdown package to provide your forces with additional munitions, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons.